morning everyone. I'm in Wales at the moment at my dad's house and I've actually been here for about a week already. I'm here with Aisha from Aisha Ponders, Eleanor from Eleanor's Vegan Life and Matt as well um, and we've been doing loads of amazing things, um, cooking lots of lovely vegan food, doing group bonding activities, long walks and just enjoying being outside in the fresh country air really and detoxing from living in a city. Um, I've also done a four day juice fast which has made me feel amazing and today is Aisha, Eleanor's and Matt's last day so I thought I would show you guys what we've been getting up to. This is my breakfast. Having a green juice, which has got apple, kale, celery, carrot, lemon and pineapple in, and some extra fresh pineapple. Just having it outside here with Eleanor. <laughs> Just going off on a walk now. <laughs> We've take, made packed lunch and we're bringing it with us and we're going to have a picnic in the sunshine. So yesterday when we were out for a walk, we actually saw a dead sheep in one of the farmer's fields near to my dad's house and the sheep um, had had what looked like an anal prolapse so basically all of its intestines had come out of its um, rear end um, and yeah I don't know if that was what killed it or what had really happened but um, it was really sad um, and later on we actually saw that the, the sheep had washed up um, further down the river and in the field it actually was quite close to the edge of the river but it wasn't close enough that it would have um, fallen in the river without being kicked or pushed um, and we kind of put two and two together and assumed that the farmer had kicked the sheep into the river to get rid of the body. Um, so because the sheep was an inconvenience to him, he kicked it into the river because he couldn't be bothered to deal with it and her body washed up down the river um, and there was just a massive level of disrespect of life and just the fact that she was just seen as a number and just as an inconvenience and just as a, a you know a product um, so even though um, you might support local meat and free-range meat that was free-range organic farm um, the mentality of the farmer still has to be very violent and aggressive in order to actually kill animals and want to kind of use them as products and just take from them. Um, so I just thought that was something to think about. Um, you know, however ethical the meat that you're buying is, there still has to be somebody with a violent mentality behind it um, in order to kill an animal um, yeah and they might do things like for example kick a sheep into a river um, that's no use to them anymore and I personally think that that's disgusting so yeah I thought that that's just something to think about
we've just been walking along and we've seen another incident of animal cruelty. Um, it's fallen over again, it's on its back. Yeah. It's over. Basically there are um, a lot of sheep in about three fields, four fields, um, and they're all limping, um, like quite severely. Some of them it really looks like the leg is kind of dangling and um, like wobbling, like almost like it's broken. Um, so yeah, we made like the group decision to call the RSPCA, which we've just done, and they said that it sounded like quite a severe um, Situation, case. Yeah. yeah, so they are going to send someone out as soon as possible, I think, and give me a call with the outcome. Um, but I hope that these sheep get seen to it's horrible. quite soon because it's really horrible to stand here and watch them all struggling. There's some that can't walk at all because their two front legs are completely collapsed all the way up to the like shoulder bone and they're just pushing themselves with their back legs along. It's horrible. Last dinner, and this is what we are having. Mmm, hey, so many well, vegetables. Hey.